Right, so I'm going to use partial fraction decomposition to solve this integral. So the setup for the partial fraction decomposition is Okay, so there's our setup. We're going to solve for a and b. Now we're going to multiply both sides by this, uh, this expression x minus 1 times x minus 2. So if I was to multiply this side by x minus 1, x minus 2, um, I'm going to have to multiply this side by that as well, right? So you have X minus 2 there. Okay, now notice what happens, right? This will cancel with that. And we're left with 1 is equal to A over X minus 1 times X minus 1, X minus 2 plus B over X minus 2 times X minus 1, X minus 2. Now look what happens, right? X minus 1's, oops, meant for red there, X minus 1's cancel here, the X minus 2's cancel. What we find is that 1 is equal to A times X minus 2 plus B times X minus 1. And so 1 is equal to, I guess I'll just write, rewrite what I have down there for clarity. So now we're going to distribute this A through, oops, A times X, A times negative 2. B times X, B times negative 1. So we've got AX minus 2A plus BX minus B. And now collect all of the things with X's together. These things are the things with X's. We've got AX plus BX. Collect all the things without X's together. So plus negative 2a minus b. And now use the distributive property in reverse. We have a plus b x plus negative 2a minus Now remember that 1 is equal to 0 times x plus 1. And now two polynomials um, are equal uh, only when their coefficients are equal. So that means that that 0 is equal to a plus b, and 1 is equal to negative 2a minus b. So that gives us a system of equations where we know that a plus b is equal to 0 and 1 is equal to negative 2a minus b. All right, so this first one here, a plus b equals 0, we can solve for one of the variables. Let's say solve for a. So we know that a is equal to negative b. And then we can plug that in over here. 
So 1 is equal to negative 2 times a minus b. Well, a is equal to negative b, so we can put a negative b in there. So 1 is equal to, let's see, negative 2 times negative b, that's a 2b minus b. So 1 is equal to 2b minus b is equal to b. So b is equal to 1. If b is equal to 1, and we know a equals negative b from this one, we know that a is equal to negative 1. So here we found that a equals negative 1 and b equals 1. Now let's remember, remember what we were doing before. It's easy to get to forget where we're at. Okay, remember that what we did in the initial setup was we found that 1 over x minus 1, x minus 2 was equal to, uh, or the initial setup was a here over x minus 1 plus b over x minus 2. We just found that a was negative 1, so we'll put that in there. And we just found that b was 1, so we'll put that in there. Now we can check our work. Uh, we can check that this decomposition is correct by um, doing the math here, doing the, doing the addition. So let's do that. Negative 1 over x minus 1 plus 1 over x minus 2. The common, den a common denominator would be x minus 1 times x minus 2. So you have x minus 1 x minus 2, and so we have negative, so negative 1 times x minus 2 plus 1 times x minus 1. All right, so distributing this negative through, that would give us a 2 minus x, so I'll replace that there, 2 minus x, and look what happens, right? The x's cancel, and 2 minus 1 is 1, so in fact, we were able to go, this checks out. Okay. I'm glad you're as excited as I am. All right, so now that we know um, the decomposition of one over x minus one times x minus two, we can use that so we know that this is equal to the integral of negative 1 over, oops, I'll put, uh, plus 1 over x minus 2. dx. And remember we can split integrals over sums, so we can write this as the integral of negative 1 over x minus 1 dx plus the integral of 1 over x minus 2 dx. Now we might as well pop this negative 1 out to the front. Let's put a negative out there. Make that into that. And now we have negative. The antiderivative of 1 over x minus 1 is ln, absolute value, x minus 1. And the absolute and the antiderivative of 1 over x minus 2 is ln absolute value x minus 2 plus c. And that's the answer.